Hello, I'm Donetta Zimmerman. I'm an animal communicator, and this is Bowser. He belongs to Amanda, and we've learned that he is seven years old, but his energy level is much, much better than seven years old. Bowser likes himself a lot. He feels really good about himself. He says he's busy all the time. Uh, Bowser says one of the worst things that ever happened to him was he had a really bad haircut. <laughs> and he was very embarrassed by the way he looked. He thinks he looks really good now. He likes himself a lot. He feels good about everything in his life. He's always had food. He's always had shelter. He's always had everything that he needs. Uh, there were more dogs around at one point in his life, but there right were. now there aren't that many dogs around mm -hmm. in his life. He's the only one. But he does have a cat friend. Oh, yes. He kind of likes being only dog because he gets a lot more attention. I believe that. He's got a lot of freedom. He can go any place in the house he wants. Um, he knows crater container, but it's not a... It's not something he has to do. It's not like he's really locked in it. He feels like he has freedom to get out of it most of the time. Yeah, he does. But he can also get in it if he wants to take a nap or do something like that. It's a safe spot. What a good boy you are. He says he's had a little bit of education, and he doesn't think that he needed that because he's very smart to begin with. That's true. And I think any education you might have tried to give him was almost a waste of your time. Yes, and it didn't work. No, he gets too excited. He wants to go in several different directions at the same time, sort of whatever meets his fancy at the moment. Yes. Um, he, he likes other dogs, and he says he has another big dog that lives fairly close to him. It has a bark that's much, much different than his. That doesn't actually mean they play together, mm -hmm. but it's one that he sees. And There's the neighbor, the neighbor, okay. right, who has a big dog. Actually, it's a new dog. Oh, okay. Well, he perceives that to be a friend. In yeah. fact, in general, he perceives almost every one or everything, every kind of animal to be a friend. And the reason uh, um, he does that is because nothing ever awful has happened to him. He, he's never been beat up by another animal, although he says there was another dog like him that pushed him around at one point in time. His mother. That was the big <laughs> dog. Ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> and, and I think she maybe tried to give him lots of instructions. And the fact that she isn't around him all the time now is a good thing to him because now he's kind of in charge of himself and he likes that a lot. He's a great dog. He has no, no concerns, no fear about not being with you. That's not really even something that he, he thinks about or has any kind of concept about it. You are such a pretty boy. Thanks. Thanks, he says he doesn't mind the snow, but he's not especially fond of the rain. It's true. And he would prefer not to have to go outside in the rain. Too bad. He does, but he, <laughs> does. he would prefer not to. <laughs> you are beautiful. Well, Bowser is certainly a good boy, and I'm delighted to have had a chance to meet him today. Well, thank you very much, Donetta, for talking to Bowser Great. and for giving us more insight into him. You are Quite welcome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.